It's Wednesday morning. Welcome to morning prayer. O Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Your light springs up for the righteous and all the peoples have seen your glory. Blessed are you, sovereign God, King of the nations. To you be praise and glory forever. From the rising of the sun to its setting, your name is proclaimed in all the world. As the sun of righteousness dawns in our hearts, anoint our lips with the seal of your spirit, that we may witness to your gospel and sing your praise in all the earth. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and for ever. Amen. Today's psalm is number 19. The heavens are telling the glory of God, and the firmament proclaims his handiwork. One day pulls out its song to another, and one night unfolds knowledge to another. They have neither speech nor language, and their voices are not heard. Yet their sound has gone out into all lands, and their words to the ends of the world. In them he has set a tabernacle for the sun, that comes forth as a bridegroom out of his chamber, and rejoices as a champion to run his course. It goes forth from the ends of the heavens, and runs to the very end again, and there is nothing hidden from its heat. The law of the Lord is perfect, reviving the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure and gives wisdom to the simple. The statutes of the Lord are right and rejoice the heart. The commandment of the Lord is pure and gives light to the eyes. The fear of the Lord is clean and endures forever. The judgments of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. More to be desired are they than gold, more than much fine gold sweeter also than honey dripping from the honeycomb. By them also is your servant taught, and in keeping them there is great reward. Who can tell how often they offend? O oh, cleanse me from my secret faults. Keep your servant also from presumptuous sins, lest they get dominion over me. So shall I be undefiled and innocent of great offence. Let the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my strength and my Redeemer. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning is now and shall be for ever. Amen. The canticle is a song of the new Jerusalem. Above you the Holy One arises and above you God's glory appears. Arise, shine out, for your light has come. The glory of the Lord is rising upon you. Though night still covers the earth and darkness the peoples, above you the Holy One arises, and above you God's glory appears. The nations will come to your light and kings to your dawning brightness. Your gates will lie open continually, shut neither by day nor by night. The sound of violence shall be heard no longer in your land, or ruin and devastation within your borders. You will call your walls salvation and your gates praise. No more will the sun give you daylight, nor moonlight shine upon you. But the Lord will be your everlasting light, your God will be your splendour, for you shall be called the city of God, the dwelling of the Holy One of Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning is now and shall be for ever. Amen. Above you the Holy One arises and above you God's glory appears. We're reading from Matthew chapter 21 beginning at verse 33. Listen to another parable. There was a landowner who planted a vineyard, put a fence round it, dug a wine press in it and built a watchtower. Then he leased it to tenants and went to another country. 
When the harvest time had come, he sent his slaves to the tenants to collect the produce. But the tenants seized his slaves and beat one, killed another and stoned another. Again, he sent other slaves, more than the first, and they treated them in the same way. Finally, he sent his son to them, saying, They will respect my son. But when the tenants saw the son, they said to themselves, This is their heir. Come, let us kill him and get his inheritance. So they seized him, threw him out of the vineyard and killed him. Now when the owner of the vineyard comes, what will he do to those tenants? They said to him, he will put those wretches to a miserable death and lease the vineyard to other tenants who will give him the produce at the harvest time. Jesus said to them, have you never read in the scriptures? The stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. This was the Lord's doing and it is amazing in our eyes. Therefore, I tell you, the kingdom of God will be taken away from you and given to a people that produces the fruits of the kingdom. The one who falls on this stone will be broken to pieces and will crush and it will crush anyone on whom it falls. When the chief priests and the Pharisees heard his parables, they realised that he was speaking about them. They wanted to arrest him, but they feared the crowds because they regarded him as a prophet. Here ends the reading. O oh, worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Let the whole earth tremble before him. Tell it out among the nations that the Lord is king. O oh, worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Tell out his salvation from day to day. Let the whole earth tremble before him. Declare his glory among the nations and his wonders among all peoples. O oh, worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Let the whole earth tremble before him. The Benedictus. They who wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as an eagle. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. They who wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as an eagle. So we pray. Almighty God, we pray today for our local community. We pray for those who we care for and those who care for us. Father, we pray for those who provide local facilities. We pray for our police force, for our ambulance and fiery services. Lord, we pray for those who work in our schools and our nursing and our care homes. Father, we pray that you would show us how we can be good citizens, how we can care for others. We pray that you would open our eyes to see the lonely within our communities. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Believing the promises of God as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. May Christ, who sends us to the nations, give us the power of his Spirit. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. <laughs>